to go over how to uh, create a split screen in Premiere Pro. Um, so what you need to do is just get a new project going and simply pile up a couple pieces of footage. So right here, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do a three-parter. And so we're just gonna stack these three all on top of one another. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to um, end up using crop, though there's a lot of different ways you could go about this. Uh, so I'll show you a few of those uh, real quick. I'm just gonna remove the audio and get rid of that so I don't need to listen to it. And that's not in my final project. So um, what I'm gonna do is click on this top clip and I'm gonna go over to my effects and I'm gonna look up crop. So C-R-O-P, we're gonna look for transform crop and we're gonna drop that onto that top clip. Okay, from here, I'm gonna maybe crop that clip in a little bit uh, from the left. And then maybe this one I also crop in from the right so I can have like a triple split screen. Now you can see that second video is showing up there. I'm gonna drop a crop onto that as well. And you're gonna see, we're gonna use this one to take out, let's say, um, we'll crop it from the right. And there we go. And now I have a triple split screen. Now what some people do is they, they'll they leave, you know, obviously we, we wouldn't want this to, uh, we would want it to all end at the same time there. So I'm just gonna trim this clip up a little bit. And uh, some people like to leave gaps in between the footage. So that's another possibility for you. If you were gonna do something along those lines, uh, what we could do here is we could go in and click on that bottom clip. We could then go up to our effect controls for that clip, click position, and then just simply move that over. Um, you can see this one doesn't have any crop on it. So if I move it, I'm gonna lose information, but that's okay. And then I could have a gap. Same thing with the second clip. I could click on that one, go to my position, and then move that clip. You can see it is cropped in. Maybe I want to crop it more or less. I can I can mess with that. And then I'm just kind of visually creating that little gap space in between. All right, if I want to get really kind of fancy, um, let's do a little crop on this top one here. Uh, we'll say for the light bulb, I'm gonna crop from the top and bring that down. And then on that bottom clip, I'm going to throw a crop onto it from the bottom, from the left, and from the right. Okay, and that's looking pretty cool. Again, uh, you could leave some gaps in between, or you can always create a new background color. So if you go to File, New, and you go to Color Matte, you can select a specific color. We're gonna hit OK. Um, say I wanted this background just to be maybe a little bit darker gray. Hit OK, and that will pop up in my project folder down here on the left. I'm just going to call this one gray, and I'm going to bring it in. So now, instead of that black fill, I have gray. Um, and really, again, that's up to you how you want to do that. Um, some of the things you can do in this in this program, though, too, is create mats um, and really specific shapes for your footage. So. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna just bring in a couple more clips or I'm gonna go to an area where I have some more. Now this is kind of like a matte situation too where I've done a little bit of masking. Um, so we'll get some fresh footage in here and uh, see what we can do. So I'll drop a couple pieces in here. All right, so we have these three in here. Again, they're layered up. Now say I wanted to go maybe uh, very unique shapes. Okay, I'm gonna click on this clip and I'm gonna go up here to opacity and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see these uh, masks. And so if we click on this circle one, right away you're gonna see, and I'm gonna disable these other clips. I'm just gonna turn off the uh, gap up for those layers so you can kind of see what is going on here. So this clip, or this uh, particular clip right now is just in a circular form. So I've created a mask and you can see right here. Now, what can I do? I can expand my mask. I can make that larger so I see more of it. Um, I can change my mask opacity. So uh, you know, make this more or less visible. I can feather it. Okay, so if I wanted to feather this and make this seem a little bit lighter, um, that could be a way to go. Um, and then let's try another one. So I'm gonna turn on one of these other clips, right? Um, this could be a way to, to do a split screen where you all kind of blend things in. Um, in this case, I'm actually gonna go back. Let, let's turn that uh, feather down or back up. And I'm gonna go to my next clip and let's try a rectangular. So I'm gonna turn off the eyeball on the circle and let's see what this looks like. So um, one thing we can do here, let's expand that mask and you can see this one's a little bit more rectangular. Um, and I should be able to go and edit this if I wanted to. So, um, so if I wanna make this more unique, I can grab those points. Um, and adjust that. Uh, let's see. And I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. You 
could also go into just the straight up, you know, footage and scale it so that say you wanted to expand your mask, you were able to show a little bit more or less or what have you. Um, you could also adjust so maybe if this is a little bit lower. this one but you could do it over straight video maybe I'm gonna go and just scale this down a little bit and then I could do a custom mask on this one so let's go ahead I'll turn off the eyeballs for these and so for this I could go to my pen tool and be like okay I want a very specific shape I want a triangle so I'm gonna go up here another kind of interesting way for you to, to create a mask and so you know one example of that is here uh, right here with this piece where I, I went in and I actually drew in those mats um, you know, again we could go more of uh, the rectangular circular mats and see what we can do with that or we can go more of the traditional route um, in terms of showing maybe you know one or two clips so um, you have a couple different ways to create split screens, have some fun, and you know, be thinking about how and why you're choosing to put the pieces together the way you are. Uh, you know, how does that maybe fit conceptually with what you're doing? How does it you know, maybe enhance the viewing and uh, just uh, make your piece a little stronger?